Today we're doing buttermilk crispy chicken strips. We already have the strips cut up and seasoned and garlic mashed potatoes, garlic red mashed potatoes, sorry. And these are the seasonings that I use for the chicken today. We got a little Cezanne, parsley flakes, smoky mesquite, pepper, and my favorite Creole seasoning. Now for the buttermilk strips, you would need four eggs, melted down butter, Pour the melted butter into the eggs. I add milk as well. I'm using 2% milk, but you can use whole milk, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to mix this together until all of our eggs are mixed all the way down evenly. I don't know what the right term for this is, but I just whip it together. And then, I already have the flour. I used all the seasonings that I seasoned the meat with before in the flour. And then I double do it. Some people, they put it in the butter first and dip it, then put it in the flour. But I like to put mine in the flour and dip it just so that it can be like extra crispy, like a different more crunch. Put it in the bag, shake the bag up. Now I'm dipping it in the eggs and the butter, and I'm going to re-dip it in the flour. And we're going to continue to do this until all of the strips are evenly dipped and put back in the bag with the flour. Once again, there's no like right or wrong way to do this. You can do this um, did before or after the flour. I like to do mine both ways just because I like extra crunch. up all together once it's just like an even coat all the way around you can take it out and i have the pan on already make sure your pan is already hot before you put the chicken in there and you see how it like perfectly starts to fry because you want to make sure your fire is hot the the pan i'm sorry make sure the fire is like medium to high um, you just place them in there and we're going to let those cook for about three to four minutes on each side and then we're going to flip them nice and golden brown. Okay, so here's like four minutes in, flipping them. You'll know when it's done, which side is done, they start turning like golden brown. So we're just gonna let that side cook. Okay, back to the mashed potatoes. It's almost just about done. We're gonna drain the water out. Um, you'll notice they start to be finished when they start like breaking on their own. Um, here we have the steamed vegetables. I added butter. I'm gonna add some pepper. You can season them any way you like. I season mine with um, Creole seasoning and pepper. And I kind of use a lot because I make a whole lot. So depending on your portion, you know, just season it to your liking and mix that in. I have the fire on really, really, really low because I don't like it to be like mushed all the way. So I just have it on low and I mix that around. And yeah, once again, you can season this any way you want. I like to season my um, vegetables with pepper because I just like my go-to seasoning. Adding some more pepper. I make a big portion, you guys, with a big pot, so that's why I kind of add a lot. So you'll see me adding to it once I mix it. 
Once again, this fire is on really, really low. Back to our chicken. So we flipped that, we flipped them again. This is actually my second batch, you guys. Just gonna flip these over. You're gonna know it's cooked when the side is like golden brown. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna flip these. Fogging up my camera. She didn't get them done. Yeah, so these usually take about eight to ten minutes, just depending on if you like crispy or you just like it regular crunchy. I like mine a little burnt because I always want to make sure my meat is cooked all the way through. And here we have my first batch out. These are done completely, and I put parsley flakes over them. So now let's get to the mashed potatoes. I use minced garlic, black pepper, milk, and of course butter. So while the potatoes are done, um, I add the butter first, and then I put pepper. I tell you guys, I use pepper with everything. <laughs> and next, I add garlic. Bear with me, guys. I'm doing this all with one hand. So I put the minced garlic in there, pepper, and some butter. and 2% milk. And then I'm just gonna mash all this up until it's completely mashed. You can add to it. I always do less first because you can never take it out. Less is more. Here's everything's pretty much done. Pretty much chicken strips. We're done, you guys. There you have it. We have our garlic mashed 